Alrighty guys, what's going on today? I'm just going to be playing some classic Cold War D-Machine. I haven't played this actually in a couple months. And midway through this game, I actually just decided to start doing the Easter egg. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one and let's go. And here we are on Cold War D-Machine. It is so weird playing this after playing literally months of Vanguard. Even though I don't like Vanguard that much, it's just Cold War got a little stale for me after I grinded this game. I have like 60 days of playtime on this so yeah you can tell i'm a bit burnt out but coming back to it it's actually a lot of fun i actually completely forgot about the rampage inducer i did my uh zombies game rank list and i literally played the machine for like 20 minutes and then i just got the game playing hopped off but now kind of you know my oh, my bad I'm, like circling back into it fully because i'm gonna try and go up to like some high rounds here it's gonna be a lot of fun you know just coming right back into the swing of things with cold war like i used to Oh yes, beautiful quick revive. Give me that hundred. Coming back to Cold War, like it is definitely much more of a noob friendly experience. You know, with all the drops you can get instead of having to kind of spare your grenades and stuff like that. And when you get monkeys, you can't just spam them. In Cold War, you can just buy all that stuff. So yeah, it's definitely noobish in that way. But it's just it's so intuitive this game. Oh no 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 no! I completely forgot about how just unappealing these molotovs are they do so much damage to the zombies but equally the amount of damage to you because these things absolutely shred through your health unlike vanguard vanguard molotovs are a lot more you know friendly to the player it doesn't do that much damage oh yeah the rpd just ain't it okay i'm de oh my god i am definitely a little rusty on cold war even though it might be a little easier it is definitely a little bit of a Kind of slope to just get right back into. Ah, uh, the Farah. What a legendary gun. And you know what you can do in this game is apply blueprints. Something you can't do in Vanguard. And look at that camo. Yeah, it's just the Cold War is so innovative, bro. Like, imagine Cold War without slapping on your custom blueprints with all your attachments, camos, and all that stuff. It is This game did it all. It feels so weird coming back to this. Because I've been playing a lot of, like, the older Zombies games recently. Even Vanguard, I've been playing more Vanguard than Cold War, I've been playing more like Black Ops 2 than Cold War, so coming back with all of this, like, I don't even know how to describe it, like, where's the tax sprint? It is so weird coming back without tax sprint and stuff like that. If any of you guys haven't played Cold War in a couple months, or even since it launched, I definitely encourage you guys to just hop back on and give it a little run through, because definitely coming back to this, it's a little bit refreshing after playing, you know, so much of the older ones, and even vanguard which is just complete boredom i'm gonna be honest i'm probably just gonna camp right here until this round ends just to gather up a little bit more points before i turn on the power and get pack situated and stuff like that you know the point system in this game is really weird it's just like vanguard and to a degree black ops 4 because i'm pretty sure black ops 4 had like a mix of cold wars point system and vanguards mixed with bo3 kind of i'm not 100 percent sure on that so don't quote me on that but the point system is, you know, I don't, I've really gotten used to the Cold War point system after all this time. It, it's so weird, like, having to, you know, spray the M1911 in the old games or the uh, BO3 pistol and then knife, spray, knife. It's a lot more intricate, but this just makes it easier and all around better for everyone, in my opinion. Boom, power's on. There is my boy Elemental Pop. Everything's a lot more simple on Cold War, even on... You know, Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, even on some maps, setting up pack punches like a chore. For example, Zetsubo, it is so intricate and complex just to set up goddamn pack a punch on Zetsubo. And that's why I kind of like Cold War. I kind of don't for that aspect at the same time, you know. It kind of just walks you through. I wish there was maybe a hardcore mode almost with Cold War. So there was no, like, guiding you through the steps in that sort of way. And we heading into the Dark Aether. Man, this Dark Aether setting is so underutilized. I wish they had a lot more sections throughout the map just with the Dark Aether. And I actually thought about it a lot um, when Cold War first came out. If they just had simply the Dark Aether instead of the normal map, just like some sort of Dark Aether mode almost, instead of the normal, you know, map layout and look. Just because I think this looks so much just cooler than the normal D-Machine does. Because D-Machine, it's a little bland when you're just looking at white and it's all snowy and stuff. 
This is really just vibrant. It's beautiful, to be honest. <clears throat> this is this is kind of weird. First game back, the confidence gives me the DIE. This thing actually got an update. I'm pretty sure in Season 5 or Season 6, where it got that illustrious Pack-A-Punch camo. And it got a update and a buff to the damage. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, the ammo capacity when it's Pack-A-Punched. So yeah, this thing's actually not that bad of a wonder weapon nowadays. And even the field upgrades, dude. Why don't we have these field upgrades in Vanguard? Literally just port them over from Cold War. Like Tesla Storm is so nice to get early game points. And then you simply just switch to Ring of Fire through the Create a Class menu. And you're good. Oh my god, I actually forgot how amazing this thing was. For just absolutely disrespecting the Megaton on early rounds, even middle rounds-ish. This thing is so just fun to come back to, dude. I'm actually having fun. Oh my gosh, and to think we lived in Cold War for like 10 months without the DIE having a PAP camo is ridiculous. Actually, I'm pretty sure a couple weeks before they added the uh, actual PAP camo into the game... For the uh, DIE, I'm pretty sure there was like a bug or something or a glitch that made you be allowed to have it some way. I'm not sure how and all that. But yeah, it's definitely a step up from the base default variant. And actually, I'm going to change my field upgrade in a second here. Activate Tesla Storm, switch to Ring of Fire. I am the king of the field upgrade strats. Cold War was like truly underappreciated by the community, man. I'm not going to lie. It is so... Like, just a step up, even from Black Ops 3, the mechanics, how everything's connected for multiplayer. You had that to a gr degree in BO3, like, just a bit, because you could, you know, level up your stuff and then have it in zombies with the attachments in multiplayer, but this takes it to a whole nother spectrum with your player level, because you didn't have it all connected with the player levels. You'd have separate prestiges and levels for multiplayer and zombies and even campaign, I'm pretty sure, in BO3. So, like, this game just deserves so much more. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm getting, like, nostalgic memories from when Cold War first dropped and I'd always camp up here with the DIE. Oh my god, I'm having nostalgia for Cold War. So, um, midway through the game, I'm just gonna start doing the Easter egg, I think, because it has been literally, I think, ever since Cold War launched, or maybe a month or two after Cold War launch, since I did the actual D-Machine Easter Egg. So I'm just going to get the canister for, I think, the Nova 5 variant of the DIE. I pretty much remember this Easter Egg off by heart. I might have to watch a guide for some parts of it, but I'm pretty sure I got this right off the top. Give me that Nova 5, bro. This thing is so underrated. This uh, variant of the DIE, just literally, in the lower rounds, like 50 and below, you can just sit in a corner with this thing and if you have a full squad of teammates literally sit in a corner and each one of you guys just spam this and you'll be good for the rest of the game there's no way you're dying with this variant and that just makes it so underrated man it's underappreciated just like whole of cold war i think this one is called something with a t but i know it shoots like huge fireballs it's not that good actually from what i can remember it's a bit oh my oh my god it's, it's just a bit mediocre. I'm just not even going to try to pronounce that. But I'm going to go get this with the uh, power room by speed. And we should have two out of the four variants done for the main part of this Easter egg so far. I think... No, no, no. This one is called the Electrobolt. I'm pretty sure it just shoots a ton of electricity. I actually used it when they buffed it a while back. And this thing is probably, personally, my favorite upgrade of the die oh my god i forgot how slow you run with this go decontamination agent the electro bolt is just absolutely broken i'm not even moving i'm barely aiming and this thing is still just absolutely eating i'm having nostalgia for this in-game cutscene too what the hell i remember when it used to crash on me over here every time and i forgot how many things spawned Okay, I'm dipping out. Yo, Ring of Fire, where you at, homie? At what point is Ring of Fire literally just an AFK strat? Literally on the 30s, this thing still one-taps the Megatons in Ring. Orloff gameplay right now. More Orloff gameplay.
Oh, they patched it. Before, as you guys can see where it says magnetic containment and deactivation and stuff like that, it used to just not even work. The uh, bar wouldn't even fill up. But I guess they fixed it. Yo, let's go. It's another W for Cold War. Okay. Uh, never mind. This is not a W for Cold War. I'm dead. Okay, I actually ought to focus up here. Why is this so much harder than I remember? Probably it's just because my skills have genuinely deteriorated throughout me playing this game and giving it a complete break for about three months. Jesus, okay, I'm not the player I used to be on Cold War. No way, they nerfed the, uh, the, the flamethrower. Oh my god, they, look at that. This thing used to insta-kill, they nerfed it. I think that was just a secret nerf. Because I don't remember seeing any patch notes about them nerfing this specific kill streak. That is a shame. Pretty much got the Easter egg done, so I think we just gotta evacuate now. I forgot this step is a little bit intense. Oh my gosh, I completely kind of forgot the right way to go, but I think I'm on the right track right now. And we've got that main quest done for D-Machine for the first time in a couple months. And um, by the way, guys, right as I'm ending off this video, I didn't upload yesterday just because I was making a video on you know, the Ukraine and Russia situation, but I kind of just stopped and I deleted it just because I kind of thought, you know, I don't really have the qualifications to be speaking on that as I'm not there and I don't know what anybody's going through over there. It must be fucking, it must be hell for everyone over there. So I hope everybody there is doing good. If any of you guys are watching this video, you know, I appreciate everybody. And um, yeah, you know, I hope everybody's doing good. Thank you guys for watching and pulling up on the video and watching to the end, actually. I appreciate it a lot. And, um, <clears throat> peace.